Oh, hey, we got Lennox on the line. Hey, hey, Lennox, oh, what's up? All right. <laughs> so, I have some new Daniel Lord information. Okay. <laughs> um, so, so apparently, um, J Josh kind of mentioned it in the very beginning of the stream that um, it kind of spoiled in the beginning. So I'll just I'll just cut it short. Uh, Daniel Lord's my editor now. But 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 didn't you guys lead a whole charge about like anti-Semitism or or something of that effect? Well, um, well, okay. So it's different with me compared to Mr. Pizza because with me, I really didn't have any drama with Daniel in the start. Like the only time I've ever had quote unquote drama with him was when Dan when I joined Daniel Lord's server and apparently Mr. Pizza got kicked out or Josh got kicked out from Daniel Lord's server. And I I asked uh Daniel's like why did Mr. Pizza get kicked? Did he do anything wrong? And apparently that got me kicked out of the Daniel Lord's server or whatever. But, but that's like I would say that's the only like closest like drama related thing I have, which is I guess isn't really drama in my book, honestly. I was just me asking a genuine question. Wait, so okay, so if he did that, if he kicked you out of your if he kicked you out of his Discord, um, why did you join? I mean, I'm sure you're aware of kind of his 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 racist yeah. past. Now, one no, thing yes. I'm interested in hearing is has he changed? Because I have been rooting for him to change, well, hoping that he changes. I think that the door should always be open for people to well, like turn their lives around. Well, I don't know. I'm st I still haven't talked to him as much. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm like Josh. He talks to him more often than I do, so probably he would probably explain if he has changed more than I have. I've been kind of um, uh, hesitant with talking to him, but I mean, like we had we had a pretty good conversation today about um, if he should be my editor, and surprisingly enough, he was down with it, mm -hmm. which was quite surprising. If I'm gonna say, because I, I, I'm so, because I'm his editing obviously has been like the best editing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like really, of any YouTuber. Even, yeah, even Josh huh. can agree with me on that one if he's still in the, the chat. But yeah, he is probably one of like in my book, probably one of the best editors. He's honestly, he's kind of motivated me to make more videos, honestly. Because of how like he can like <laughs> in his videos. I know I know it's a very bad influence to be influenced by someone like that, but yeah. I mean like I mean but to I be mean, fair, yeah. I mean I take a lot of influence from my streams from a streamer named Hasanabi, which in my opinion, who who yeah. in my opinion he's a not a great person, um, and also yeah. is racist and supports violence against certain groups, but at the end of the day, I, he makes good content, and so I, you know, he is to some level an inspiration for my content. Um, and I guess you know, if Daniel Lord is in a similar way, certainly one thing, but I think that's a little bit different than uh, I, th I just think that's a little bit different than um, you know, actually, hire you're not hiring him because I'm sure it's free, but having yeah. him be a part of your process of you know, actually creating content. Yeah, he well, he's only a temporary editor for now because you know why. I'm kind of <laughs> because I'm kind of I'm maybe. I'm wait, wait, hold on a second. Can we? Can you join the bread party? Because I I see that Mr. Pizza wants to talk on. What, what's yeah, 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 it would make sense because he's also kind of a part of this drama too as well. Okay, or not I'm, drama, I'm, not I'm necessarily move, drama. I'm gonna move over there. All right. Um, pizza, pizza. I'm about to <laughs> add you on to the. Thing. But continue, continue your, your thought there, uh, Lenzo. Um, I'm straight. Uh, no, that doesn't Are you help. Sure? <laughs> that doesn't, no, 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 that's no. not relevant. That's not, no. Okay, so, um, yes, I, I, long story short, yeah, the, Daniel Lord is my editor. He honestly, again, I, I, I'm going to say this again, he is really good with editor. I, I, I don't mean to compare people, but he's not like the shitterator where he just it makes flashy <laughs> editing. And just obnoxious, just over the top, trying to get it all in your face, you know, like, he's not like that. He knows his boundaries when it comes to ed editing at most times, and that's what I like about him the most. Uh, I mean, again, a bad influence, I know, but uh, this is only, I'm explaining in terms of editing. Yeah, I mean, if I were to be honest, I didn't think his editing was bad, but it wasn't anything special in my opinion. I mean, same with me, my editing isn't bad, but it's not anything special. Yeah, I I think Josh wanted to explain something too. Oh yeah, what do you want to explain? 
Yeah, hold on a sec. Hold on. <laughs> oh, do you mind if I? Um, okay, since we're kind of getting the Daniel Lord era, do you mind if I tell you some Logan Zeter? <laughs> Logan yeah, Zeter. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, I'm going yeah, to hear about, you about the Daniel about Lord thing first. Um, no, 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 that was pretty much. That was pretty much it. It wasn't really too anything chaotic. He's just Daniel Lord was going to be my temporary, not permanent for now. But temporary mm -hmm. because I, I'm considering temporary because you know I might have second thoughts. You know he might he might like like display more drama or something. Hey, you never Mr. Know Pizza, you're you're getting some echo on your end. I think you should probably put it in earbuds or something. Yeah, I don't have him on me right now. Ah, yeah, no, he's only my temporary editor because because I might have second thoughts with him being my editor. But um, <laughs> but <laughs> no, maybe. But, but I have I have seen how he has edited um Josh's videos. Um they're really good. Like if you ever seen like his uh Josh's recent videos, um it, I think Daniel Lloyd has edited some of Josh, them. Josh, remind me who Josh is again? Sorry, I, I no, missed uh, Mr. Pizza. Mr. Pizza. Oh, he edited his recent video? I'm I'm about to yeah. I'm about to react to it. No, 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 not that one. It's it's the second recent. His second oh, recent. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, not most recent. Yeah, not not the other one. Oh, okay, I see. But, yeah. I see. I see. I mean, there's not really much more to explain. It's it's really straight to the point. He is my editor for now, and um, I guess Josh is editor or Mr. Pizza's editor for I guess because he's been kind of editing his videos too. Yeah. Um. So, you Mr. Mr. Pizza, what's your what's your angle on this? Like. When it comes to Daniel Lord in 2023, has he changed? Has he issued any apologies? Has he like taken any steps that made you think, okay, this guy is not the same dude we roasted in 2022? That's a good question. See, it's hard to tell like if he's like full on like changed or if he's only playing it cautious. It's hard to say. Yeah, I mean, we haven't talked to him. Enough. We haven't. I I think it's a bit too soon to say, like, if he's fully changed, because he could be playing it safe now. Like, I'm not too sure. I mean, I don't. we haven't talked to him enough to to assume anything, honestly, for saying that he's safe or not. Wait, so you're not... Okay, wait, so you, so you guys broke... Okay, so you, you cut ties with him because yeah. of, his, of his racist remarks. Um, um, that, that, that goes annoying. Um, but now you... You brought him back into your fold, sort of. Well, despite wait, 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 despite not hearing about any behavioral changes, I'm, I'm getting, no, I I'm was, gathering. Uh, uh, so, what kind uh, of inspired yeah. you to like reach out to him and include him in your content? If the, you know the thing about him, which you kind of booted him from your community for, hasn't changed as far well, as you I know. guess. For me, I don't know if it's different for Mr. Pizza, but for me, I feel like it's been with the Logan Zeter drama because he has brought Daniel Lord into the situation more often. And I guess because I, Logan Zeter has, is more erratic than Daniel is. Like, he will start drama more often, I think, than yet Daniel is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just how I see it. I mean, it could be different with how Josh sees it. I mean, for me, I feel like. I, for, for the Logan Zeter drama, kind of brought back Daniel into the mix, I guess, and I that's how I, I kind of that's how I kind of started communicating with Daniel, or just by that drama alone. Yeah, I mean, it's, if you want to do stuff with him, like I mean, that's your right to do that. I'm just a little bit surprised because of the vehemence of your community after him. That all of a sudden you're just like, oh yeah, he's cool. You know, he'll edit my videos. Like I, I that, that kind of threw me off. I was like, what? You're doing I, what I now? You're letting who on your platform to do I'm what in what capacity? Well, because for me, I never had any drama with him. Like, like I've I've never had any drama with him or any altercations with him. Yeah, but I mean, also, I it. personally have never had any, you know, any personal drama with Louis Farrakhan. But I'm not going to do anything with him. So, <laughs> not to equate <laughs> the two, they're very different. You know, Louis Farrakhan actually was calling oh, yeah. for violence, but. Um, I don't know if you guys even know who he is. No. Um, is, he, is he a streamer? Is he like a streamer? No, no, he's an old activist. And um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, he's like okay. an activist. He's kind of uh, he's basically allegedly the guy who kind of convinced um, Kanye West to be anti-Semitic. Oh, oh, so, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. So he apparently Kanye had talked to Louis Louis uh, Farrakhan. And then after that, then he kind of went down this destructive path. But in any case, that's a bit of a distraction. 
again, yeah. maybe you see him differently than we all do. Um, and maybe you see a different side of him. I don't know if he's changed. Mr. Pizza, do you want to you want to speak on whether or not Daniel Lord's changed at all? I know you said I think you had said a little bit of something to the effects of you know if he's being cautious. But I, right. I, I can't remember if I cut you off or No, no, that's what I said, and he didn't cut me off or anything. Mm. Maybe he is. I my no statements. <laughs> maybe he is. I I can't assume anything about him. Maybe maybe he is, maybe he's not. I don't know. Yeah. And Hey, it's possible that he's changed, and if so, it would be really great yeah, to know sure. that because nobody in our community is talking to him, and he's not going to put out a YouTube video called "Sorry, I was racist" anytime soon. <laughs> so, no, I don't think so. <laughs> so no, it's already too late for that. <laughs> so if you guys like talk with him, and you're like, "Bro, this dude's different. This what? dude's changed. This dude's you know renewed and improved. This is Daniel Lord 2.0." Then I'm cool with it. Now I'm not gonna hire him to make the thumbnails like he wanted me to years ago. But it's uh, just good to hear. It would be good to hear that he's kind of changed his ways and grown for the better. So I guess in a little bit he has kind of. It seems. Mm. Like I feel like in a sense, like it's like he's a lot more chill than he was before, which is a good thing. That is a good thing. That is a good thing. Um. You know, now granted, him not being chill is I don't think that was the primary concern we had about him. No. But I mean it's good that he's improved on that front at least. Yeah, uh, is it okay before I hop off and I briefly talk about Daniel Lord again and why I kinda had an editor again? Is that cool with you? Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. So I kinda just like it was it was when I was playing like Fortnite with Colin recently. Like I think it was like We uh, like Fortnite like we the cranking and all those nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was it was a, like a few days ago, like I was playing Fortnite with him and I, I was thinking like, I was thinking like, do I want to have Daniel like edit videos for me again because he was good at it? I was talking to Colin about it and everything, seeing kind of what he thought on the situation. And, you know, he, he didn't like complete, he didn't like, I wouldn't say like disagree with my decision really he kind of just said you know do whatever you want to so interesting i came to the conclusion that you know yeah i feel like it's it's very beneficial where i want to take my channel forward for the long term right and i feel like his editing style matches what i'm trying to do and i already know what I can do from you know when he edited in the past now I would say this, you know, what's the benefit of, you know, having him, well, I guess it speaks for itself, having him edit your videos rather than you editing it himself. It's, you know, it reduces some of the labor, right? It, you, there's less it stuff does, that you I have think to do. Like it, it, and there's a lot of benefits, actually. One, like, as you kind of said, reduces the labor. It reduces stress. I feel like it also... It, it promotes more like motivation to want to make more stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and overall like whenever he like edits and makes thumbnails for my channel specifically it does better like it, it just like the content mm. overall is just way better so i think so i think in, at least in my opinion th this decision on a longer term for the channel is a lot better to take because like at the end of the day like it's the channel is gonna have a lot better content, right? Like it's good. Like yeah. you're gonna you're gonna notice a huge difference in how much better it is. Yeah. And I yeah. want to, and I I want to be in that stage where you know I kind of talk about like in my latest video that I know you'll be covering on stream. Mm -hmm. I kind of go more into detail, like not about Daniel Order. We go into detail about the direction of my channel and kind of stuff like that. Overall, like, I want my content to be good. And yeah. if that means, like, having Daniel as the thumbnail artist and editor, like, I'm okay with that. Like, I, I, I know he's going to produce good results each time I send him something, no matter what it is. Like, I know what the results are going to be, and it's going to be good. That's fair. That's fair. Now, did you... Like, I know you said you liked his style. Did you look did around you for, for people who can do editing or thumbnails in a similar style before going to daniel lord 
Well, I, I, I had like E Productions edited a couple videos for me and stuff and everything. Like it was it was pretty good editing, but overall I think Daniel is just like the better option to go with for at least in most cases for most content. And another thing is believe it or not, like Daniel doesn't ask me to pay him to do it either. Or Lennox so he hasn't asked us to pay him whatsoever. Mm. Like because he's even told me that, you know, he edits for a lot of other people as well who hire him and he gets like thirty to forty dollars or more per video that other people are hiring him to edit. Yeah, I assumed that you weren't actually paying him. Um, because I don't no, think you guys like, I don't think you guys make revenue off of your your no, content, but off, like, it's we, just nomenclature. Off, it's just in my nomenclature. It's in my vocabulary. It's just like, Something first, I do like, where it's like have, if you bring someone on, yeah, you're hiring like, him, but I know that's not how it works. Like, we don't have the money, obviously, and I think he knows that and everything, but he doesn't ask for payment, and, you know, that's his choice. Like, if he doesn't want, if he just wants to do it out of the fact that he loves to edit, hey, fine by me, you know? Yep. Hmm? And I mean, another thing, too, is, is like, hard? I don't, like, your channel isn't even monetized yet, is it? Oh, no, I'm not monetizing yeah, it, neither. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. I mean, if, if, if it, what if your channel was monetized, I could see him. I could see the yeah, argument maybe. for him, like trying yeah. to get you to pay him. But right, I mean, he's making it well, for free. I mean, whether the, this is, I mean, whether people agree or disagree with the decision. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, like it's my choice. At the end of the day, right? And yeah, like, yeah, back of, course, to of course. And back and back to the topic on if he's changed, like as I kind of stated before, vaguely, like he's a lot more chill and everything. Mm -hmm. And other good news, you know, he hasn't used the N word anymore recently, which is good, a good thing. Good gold star for not using the N word as a white person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's a good. <laughs> Overall, like he seems like he's a lot more. I think a lot more chilled out than he was before. Like I also noticed that, like. He doesn't get as easily irritated as he did before, so maybe he's matured in that sense. Like, before, like, if you would say something to him that in, there was a brief argument, you know, he would go off on you and start saying the N-word and stuff like that. I but see. now I feel like... Like, but now I feel like you can actually have an actual conversation with him, and you can more or less agree to disagree with things. Like, he, he doesn't, like, just jump you straight away for anything. <laughs> Like, it does it's seem good. like he's chilled out a lot. Like, he, in a sense, like, he's definitely calmed down a bit more, and he seems a bit more mature. Now, now, could he be saying the N-word when we're not talking? Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> anyone could. I could be. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but would I say he's fully changed? Like, obviously, like, I'm not going to let my guard down at all. Mm. Because it, it like like obviously like don't let your guard down, especially if you've had past past beef with them. Like if you're gonna talk to them, get into what it is, but just like be on edge, right? To like yeah. be prepared to heel turn at any moment. Yeah, which I I assume that and, you guys are. Yeah, like we're obviously prepared for, for anything. Like, and you know what's it's, it's also funny like. Even though we've been talking and stuff, like he hasn't once asked me to take down the cancellation videos. I mean, like, the, like I know what would even be the like, basis for that? Oh, you hurt my feelings. Like, the content like, was true. I know, said, like, as I know, far as I know, like, as like when I was talking to him about Trash Man and everything, I know that like he briefly brought up like the drama that we made in the past for my channel, but like he he kind but he stated how you know. He didn't respond or anything. Simple fact that he just wants he wanted to move away from it and not be like trash man in the sense that you know it's just like a leech or whatever. Yeah. Which makes sense. Overall, is it say is it safe to say he's changed fully? Absolutely not. But he does. But like, he, he seems a bit different than he did before. That's good. That's good. It's, maybe it's a I good mean, sign. Look, look, I mean, it's better. It's better. It, I mean, he's better now than he was before. You know, that's something. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is something. Um, you know, you know, being being more calm and stuff. You know, not using the N word every five seconds in a Discord message. You know, it, it's gold a start. Gold star, it's, brother. Gold star. It's, it, it's like it's a start. It's something. It is. It is. It is. Now, now, could he be a completely changed person? Absolutely. Could he still be the same racist that we always know him as? Absolutely. But who knows anymore you know 
yeah yeah and also like you know we haven't really had an opportunity to actually see him in action and know and whether or not like, he has changed so <laughs> it would be good to give him that opportunity no i can't obviously it'd be better like like obviously there are easier ways to get more intel based off that stuff but i don't think i want to hop into call with him why not <laughs> I mean, just for a simple thought, let's be honest, his voice is atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Bad voices.